Welcome back, it's Ultimate. I want to talk about this hand. I actually had over blinds, 5k, right? 100,000 in chips right now. And I pick up pocket queens on the in the big blind. Everybody, um, UTG min raises with like a 50k stack and I pick up pocket queens I shove and there you go he hit the set I hit a set what can you do you know he just this guy min raises pocket aces is that like this guy razor edge is that like profitable I have no clue but it seemed that way you know let me know what you think and let's continue to come back it's ultimate I took a shot at a five dollar monster stack and I, I didn't record it, but um, I'm in this $2 buying right now. I had like about 20k in chips. I just kind of, I lost um, with Ace Queen. And then I called the all in with Ace Deuce versus a short stack. And some guy I called and he had quads. But here I pick up pocket 10s. I 3 exit. And this flop comes which is pretty decent for me and he ended up having pocket nine so we would have got it got it all in pre flop anyway so either way the same the same outcome would have happened but if you guys have any idea let me know what I could have done differently and let's continue to crush I'm gonna buy in once again. Ultimate and we're back find myself again in the same two dollar uh buy in tournament. I have Jack Nine here uh, UTG raised, and I just call, trying to see a flop, which is a favorable favorable flop for me, so I see bet, and uh, I get one caller, the turn brings the 8, and I'm thinking any 8 beats me now, so, um, you know, I also lose to like, ace 9 or something like that, queen 9, so I jam, I jam the, uh, the turn, and he shows up with ace 8. Which is, you know, lucky. Um, we could have gotten some money there. But what do you guys think? Maybe I should have just checked turn. And what, check fold flop? Let me know. I mean, river. Let me know and let's continue to crush. It's ultimate and we're back. I've been playing very aggressive at this table. It's been a rough Thursday. But I can't complain, right? So I pick up pocket aces, and I know I'm going to get a crazy amount of callers because today, every table I've been in, people have been playing loose. For some reason, I don't get it. And I get called by queens and seven jack. It's a cooler, I know. And he ends up winning. Just wanted to show you guys this hand. Just to tell you that we'll get them next time. Let's continue to crush. Welcome back, and it's ultimate. I have pocket kings. That's all I gotta say. And I've been like really aggro at this table. So let's do it again. Let's go hold. Let's crush them. To be honest. I just got it in with 6-3 versus this guy's kings pre-flop, so. <laughs> oh, shoot. Let's go. Is he going to reship? Rejam on the jam. Let's go. No. Fucking GG. We'll get him next time and then continue to crush. Ultimate, no, we got coolered. Damn it. Oh man, I don't know how many times this is gonna happen today. Fuck. <laughs> GG. Back with some sit and go action. Cuz I've been like breaking all these tournaments. And now I'm back up in a good spot. But I've been playing relatively tight so maybe uh, I put him on maybe uh, two over cards I hope he has two overs you know best let's go 
So now there's only one person left to be eliminated and will be in the money because it's only a um, double up. So, four get paid. This is intense because I took a shot. Doesn't say how much it is, but it's for $7. Which, you know, I never play as these singles. Um, yeah. But it looks like this is like my bread and butter. If I were to play this style, I'm just playing my A game right now because I'm like my back is against, is against the wall and I just don't want to lose, you know. I don't want to lose so bad that I'm, I'm playing like my A game. I'm folding like you should have seen the hands I was folding. I'm not trying to brag or nothing, but. Okay, so I'm going to try to put these people on a hand. This guy just set out chip leader on. So if they both check, this board looks really ugly. Nobody has a king. Deuce, yeah. <laughs> I got to raise pre and probably gotten people to fold. But look at this, you know, I would play back, but not, not now, I'm, I'm trying to get this money, <laughs> literally I'm trying to get the money, and I feel bad for DC, D Caballero, but I'm gonna have to shove on you, buddy, um, whatever, I guess not, I would've, but, let's see, you know, Ooh, maybe he saved me. Yeah, he, uh, I guess he did save me. Oh, bro. Okay, I'm glad you're in there. Sorry that I was gonna about to, I was about to take you out. So uh, most likely the caballero is gonna fold, but ah. Uh, what am I to do? I'm gonna just fold. Oh wow, he didn't. So he just actually made some money. So I'm just going to 2.5 exit because a chip leader is in the big blind and if he happens to have a hand I lose like 0.5 less. <laughs> so we call it which is not all that surprising. It's a monotone board. I should see bet this. Plus I have the ace, so, you know. Yeah, if you were to call, uh, I would have to shut down on the turn. But I'm gonna just keep um, playing solid poker, even though I'm like, I have a huge chip side guy. Yeah. I should be pushing it. But, I uh, just wanna get to the money and looks like this might be it, you guys. Danny is gonna call. Oh wow, I'm wrong. I was wrong. Ooh. And here, this is a spot that I'm willing to like flip with anybody. Even D Caballero. Bro, I guess I am gonna take you out. GG. At least we have top of top of range. Probably gonna fold and that's a good fold. Oh I'm gonna show him. No. So 
be a nice little kid, you know? Really don't show. Good fold. Gonna shove again. No, it doesn't really matter. I'm just trying to take somebody out, and he's been playing so fucking t aggressive. So, bro, if you got it, you got it. You don't. So, now I'm showing everything. <laughs> no. Chip leader is back in the big line, so I'm just gonna 2.5 exit. He raises on folding. I'm not chip leader, why do I keep saying chip leader? <laughs> I mean, decent chip stack. So, uh, do I see bet, see bet this? Uh, there's a lot of action here. I mean, there's a lot of like cards that I give people outs that would want to continue. That w that would create action, but looks like uh, I got lucky and I doubled my money up. So the last tournament I played, I bought in six times, which is which was a dollar, so six dollars. And I guess I recuperated that money straight. No, I can't complain. I'm happy I'm here. I'm just gonna shove on this guy because he's too active. I wanna show this guy? Ha ha. <laughs> Six, buddy. But hey, what am I gonna? T I have among us a huge chip sack. I'm not gonna like. I'll show you. It's just the, the game, cause I. And since I've been shoving, I was. Uh, I'm not gonna show this guy. Show. So bad. Fold. If it's folded down to me, I'm gonna shove again. Even if Danny, yeah, see, I'm just gonna continue to shove because nobody wants to fold. I mean, nobody wants to bust out here. Ace King, whatever. 3 6. Uh, not 3 6, what did I say? 6. <laughs> I'm a jack. Damn it. <laughs> Fucking 6. Huh. Sorry, I tried to bust him. Caballero, don't do it to him. Yes, you're back in it. Wow, man, to the wire, to the wire. This is not the reason that I don't play singles. It's like, even if you play your best, like you have to have like, a huge chip stack to be comfortable, because. Even this guy, Ir Irie, whatever, Irie Cinder, Irie Cinder 024, fucking had 3k, and now he has, only has 2k, which is basically like, the same as having 755, I'm gonna have to call here, just hopefully I get it, king 3, yes, and, um, see, Double up. I should play another one, but I'm just gonna, you know, hold on to the money. GG. And let's continue.